Yo guys, these are the 10 best brawlers that are in Brawl Stars right now. Coming in at number 10, we have Larry. Larry is still the best thrower in the game. Now, if you're playing Bounty or Knockout, I think something like Tick might be a little bit better. But in every other mode, Larry is just by far the best thrower in the game. Obviously, it's not as dynamic as something like Dino. But the bot is just so good. It's so easy to hit Larry shots. And it's just such a well-rounded brawler. If you need a thrower to counter another brawler, or if you just want to play a thrower map in general, I would definitely push Larry on it. It's very easy right now. Coming in at number nine, and this might be a little bit low, we have Byron. So Byron is just insane right now, especially if you have that star power that doesn't allow the enemy to regenerate their health at normal rates once you hit them with your Byron super. Additionally, it only takes three shots to get your super, so you can cycle super easily. I know I just said the word super a lot, but I mean, that's a great way to describe Byron. It's just super good, and the super itself is also just busted. Don't forget that you can actually heal on Byron as well, so it also has that in its package as well as long range. It's just such a good brawler right now. Or should I say, a super good brawler. Coming in at number eight, we have Rosa, and I think Rosa is by far the best tank in the game right now. Now, in terms of brawlers that have the tank trait, I think it just so easily clears everything else. On top of that, I think it has the best hypercharge out of every tank, maybe outside of Buzz. But Buzz is really easy to counter, Rosa not so much. Rosa also does pierce damage, so you can't really get too hard clapped by a spawnable, which other tanks do. And I just think it's really easy to cycle supers and play really, really good with Rosa. Additionally, the gadget that allows you to slow brawlers when they're in bushes is really nice, because obviously closing in range is something that's not easy for all tanks. Buzz, you have a grapple. Jackie, for example, you have speed. Primo, you don't really have too much, but on Rosa, that slow is really useful and really, really nice. Coming in at number seven, even though it's got a bunch of nerfs, we have Charlie. Charlie's still an insane brawler. The Cocoon is one of the best supers in the game. Dynamic supers are so important, and the fact that you can keep someone still in this, like, little cocoon looking thing well i mean it is a cocoon it's, it's just unreal it's really crazy because as soon as they come out of that just bam they're just gone the spider gadgets are also really good they remind me a lot of like tara pets and how tara works where if you spam your tara pets at the start of games you get your super and then you start cycling supers it's not necessarily the same with charlie because you don't get any supercharge back from the cocoon but it's kind of the same where when you don't have the cocoon you use your spiders when you do have cocoon you don't have to use spiders then the hypercharge is obviously just insane so really good brawler really good anti-tank that's going to be our number seven coming in at number six we have max and i mean just every brawler in the meta right now feeds well when also playing with a max i mean speed and damage are probably the two most important things in brawl stars and max doesn't have great damage but you pair max with brawlers that have good damage and you give it speed and i just mean like wow it's just an insane combo the max hypercharge is also one of if not the best in the game the fact that you can charge your teammates super and hypercharge with your hypercharge while also having a speed that's 2.5 or three times the amount of a normal speed is just insanity like that's such insane value that you get if you get this hypercharge two times in a game which is a little bit difficult to do but if you get it two times in a game it's like a guaranteed win to be honest max is just so good right now I would 100% recommend if you can get a hypercharge to get maxes. Coming in at number 5, we have Amber. Now, Amber might seem like a little bit of a weird one because the gadgets aren't too crazy, the super isn't too crazy, but Amber, I think, right now is the most consistent brawler in the game. It's good into tanks, it's good into mid range, it obviously burns grass, which makes things easier to play. I can go on and on about Amber. It synergizes also so well with Poco comps, Max comps. You can play it with range. You can play it with tanks. Like you can really play Amber with everything. It's so easy to win a game when you have an Amber on your team because you can have so many different combinations of brawlers that just make it work. I don't have much else to say about Amber. I know it's a really simple brawler, but it's one that's really good right now. And you don't need a Max Amber or a crazy, you know, Amber loadout to be good right now with Amber because it's just a good brawler. So if you have her, play her. Coming in at number four, we have Melody. Now, Melody is a really good brawler, and obviously, you know, it, it just, it's wild. It can go all over the map so fast, but it's not that good into tanks. I mean, if you're playing a tank or a spawnable or something that counters Melody, there's just nothing the Melody can do. So it's kind of interesting because these other top three brawlers, I feel like, don't really have many counters, if any. Whereas Melody, if you have a bad matchup, you're probably not winning the game. With that said, though, the amount of crazy things you can do with Melody is, like, off the charts. It's one of the most dynamic brawlers in the game. And when you have a brawler that can do things like Melody does, it's going to be pretty hard for that brawler to not be at least in the top five. So it's going to be our number four brawler. But in my opinion, there are easily 
three better brawlers. Coming in third, we have Sandy. Sandy has one of the best hypercharges in the game, easily top three in my opinion, and you guys know how good the Sandy super is. Like, every Sandy super is just insane because your entire team, I like supers that affect the entire team, and the fact that the entire team can get into Sandy super and no one knows where you are and you can be sneaky for so long, it's insane. So you have a good super, you have a good hypercharge, and then you also have a really good gadget where you can just totally stun people. It's good for brawl ball goals, it's good to get additional hits, it's good to steal gems, it's good for a lot of different things. Good gadget, good hypercharge, good super. That is a recipe for success. This is our third best brawler in the game. Coming in at number two, you guys should have expected this 100%. We have Angelo. Angelo is just the cream of the crop when it comes to sharpshooters. Best sharpshooter by a mile in any sense of the way. The poison super, I really like it. It kind of reminds me of Ash, where the rats... You know, it's a very subtle super, but it makes Ash a lot better. It's kind of the same thing with Angelo, where it's a very subtle super. It's just, you know, this little, like, poison thing on the ground. But it does heal Angelo. It does poison the enemies. You can't stand in it or you take damage. Like, it's very good for Angelo's kit. And I think Angelo is just a really well-made good brawler. Obviously, I would like for him to get nerfed. But I really do like the play style of Angelo. And the fact that you can hold down the shot. Keep this in mind, you don't have to aim, you can just hold down the shot, makes it one of the craziest brawlers of all time, to be honest, in Brawl Stars. This is going to be our number two. But coming in at number one, we got the boy himself, Draco the Dragon. The movement speed that Draco has when it gets dragon form is just unfair. Like, it feels kind of underwhelming when you're playing him, but when you're facing him, it feels like there's nothing you can do. There's this fast dragon that's moving with 10,000 HP that has like unlimited flames and it can cycle super so easily. Like Draco is just so, so good. And you don't really feel it when you play him, but when you're facing him, it just feels unstoppable. That's going to be my top 10. If you guys think I missed any brawlers, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for me today and I'll catch you guys again soon. Peace.